Could you handle a medical emergency in the wild? Step one, stopping the bleed. In the wild, a simple cut can be dangerous if not treated fast. Grab a clean cloth or any fabric you have, apply pressure to the wound. Keep it tight until the bleeding stops. No bandage? No problem. Use a t-shirt, bandana, or even your sock in a pinch. Just make sure it's clean. Elevate to reduce blood flow. Elevate the injured limb above your heart to slow the bleeding and keep that pressure on. Next up, handling fractures. Step two, immobilize the injury. If you suspect a fracture, keep the injured part still. Use sticks, magazines, or even rolled up clothing to create a splint. Secure with shoelaces, belts, or duct tape. Avoid moving the injured. Wrap carefully to avoid further injury. Make sure the splint is snug, but not too tight. You don't want to cut off circulation. Minimize movement to prevent more damage. Always check for circulation below the injury. Look out for numbness or discoloration. Finally, CPR essentials. Step three, check for breathing. If they're not breathing, call for help immediately. If you're alone, start CPR right away. Place your hands in the center of their chest. Push hard and fast 30 times, then give two rescue breaths. Keep pushing to the beat hard and fast. Don't stop until help arrives or they regain consciousness. Remember, hard and fast, be prepared. Remember, stay calm, act fast, save a life. Like and follow for more survival tips.